Well, I think that the idea of developing a global vision has really two elements to it, and they might sound contradictory, but they're not. The first is that there are certain things that all countries uh, need to do, and they uh, can more effectively do by learning from each other and doing them, uh, as it were, uh, together. For example, such things as how to include uh, all different types of uh, people in the education system. But the second aspect, which might sound a bit contradictory, is that since countries now have to compete in the world economy, um, they are trying to develop their education systems to help them with that competition. So uh, the more that country one uh, tries to improve its education system and then the more that country two tries to catch up or to get ahead, uh, the better off both uh, countries are uh, together. I think the main challenge that education faces right now is, uh, has two aspects. The first, which is everywhere, has to do with the quality of education. This is what parents are worried about. This is what's on their mind. The key uh, um, thing to do with regard to quality has to do with uh, the teacher. The teacher recruitment, the teacher training, the teacher motivation, teacher remuneration, uh, etc. The second uh, key thing uh, applies more to those countries which have only recently uh, expanded their education systems. Now they've made significant progress towards getting their children into primary school. And now the issue really is becoming how to deal with uh, secondary school and how to deal with higher education. I think we're going to have to look at uh, innovative ways of financing education because it's uh, becoming very clear that some of the poor countries are not going to be able to afford uh, to have all the uh, children in uh, primary and secondary education uh, fully paid for by the state. Most uh, education systems are going to have to uh, adapt to uh, rapidly uh, changing uh, populations, changing in all sorts of ways. Uh, changing because we are now uh, being much more successful at including uh, those who have uh, disabilities in the system. Changing because of uh, immigration. We now have, uh, uh, most countries now have children uh, in their school systems who uh, were not necessarily born in, uh, in that country. So for all these reasons, the uh, nature of the school community is more pluralistic. And so pluralism itself has to be an important guideline for education. Well, I was very happy to be asked to be a juror on the Pluralism uh, Awards panel for WISE. These highlight the fact that uh, it's not all talk, that there are indeed uh, active innovations out there uh, which can be copied or adapted at least from one country to another, from one community to another. The first positive thing I learned was that there's a very wide range of innovation, wide in a sense uh, geographically, and also in the sense of uh, doing all different types of things. Uh, the second uh, thing I learned, positive thing I learned, was that there are many ways that uh, ICTs are now being used that I was not uh, aware of uh, myself. If I have a message for the WISE uh, community, it is uh, to congratulate them on starting this initiative uh, and to uh, uh, encourage them to uh, develop this further in future uh, years.